Rainsy, could you sum up the first term of the year? Yeah, wow, first term, halfway through the first year, it's been it's been amazing. I think looking at the group of students we've got, um, football wise, it's been outstanding. Education wise, probably been even better. Um, I think as an overall, it's been a a really really positive first term. Um, I think if you look back to to July when pre season started again, where we're up to probably break it into two second years, come back in like they've never left, um, hunger and desire to do really, really well. Um, not just football wise, also academically, um, sort of getting ready for their next journey after being with us for, for 18 months so far. And then you had the first years who have come in and have been an absolute breath of fresh air, um, really enthusiastic, really bought into what we're trying to deliver as a programme, again, both football and academically. Um, and it's been, it's been a huge success. How important is it for the students to compete and train as often as they do? It's massive. I think the, the programme we offer is it's a football and education programme. So it's the balance of the two is vital, we think, for getting results on both. Um, getting results in terms of the football development, getting them ready for men's football and in terms of the academic side to give them as many options as possible. Um, and the balance of training once a day and educating once a day really, really works well for our type of students. And the FA's grown so much this year and there's yeah. a lot of new faces around yeah. SSV. So how have the new staff settled in? The new staff have been amazing. So we've got two new coaches, um, which again have been absolutely fantastic in terms of their standards and expectations. Um, you've got Rick, that's our lead coach, that's obviously got a lot of experience with Welsh football, um, a lot of experience in this type of environment before and he's come and sort of the standard level of what's expected of players is rising. Um, and then you've got JK, James Kinsey from manager of Staley Bridge. So again, that sort of non-league influence that we're trying, to we're trying to implement as well. And I touched on it a minute ago in terms of us getting lads ready for non-league football once they leave us. His influence and his experience is vital. Um, you've got Tim that we've got our full-time stre full strength and conditioning coach. Again, relating to lads going into to full-time football. That's huge for him. And then our new tutors that we've got in, again, have been absolutely fantastic, both really experienced tutors um, that are taking the education side to another level and opening more doors than what we probably ever had for our students leaving us after the two years. And speaking of students leaving yeah. after the two years, a number of students have been offered paid scholarships yeah. to go off to America. Just how have we helped get those opportunities? Well, well it, it's amazing for them and for us as a club and the ex life experience they're going to get from that is, is second to none. Um, so how it works is we help with the CVs, we help with all the clipping. Um, so when the companies come in that take them to the American colleges, um, universities, sorry, they call them colleges over there, they've got a CV that's better than most and that really, really helps. And that's not just with the American scholarship. We do that with everything. So we've had a bit of a a careers week this week where we've had the RAF come in, we've had different types of forces come in, we've had different jobs come in. We've tried to just give our students as many different options that they could potentially do once they leave us at the end of the two years. A few first team players have been in the training with the player pathway students this term. Just how important is that for the students? I think as a club as a whole it's fantastic. I think the connect from the first team down to the academy to then come across to the football education is huge. Um, so we've had, I think, overall this season, eight first team players coming in doing their UEFA B badges. Um, so what they do is they come and they put a session on for our lads and for our players to get that experience. You're talking about them eight players played four, five hundred league games. We're talking three, five, three, four thousand worth of minutes experience that they're going to get there. And for for, our, for us as a club and for our players, it's, it's a hell of an experience and not many places would do that. It's also the first year of the sports career path. Yep. Just, could you tell us more about that, how it's gone? It's been great so far. So this was summer that's coming new this year. Um, and it's sort of an insight into sort of four areas of the football world and sport in general that are not necessarily playing. So the students on the sports career pathway, they either choose analysis, coaching, sports rehab or strength and conditioning. And alongside the BTEC, they learn what it takes to have a career in one of them industries. Um, so we train them up with extra badges and extra qualifications. So when they get to a point of going to university, they're already miles ahead. And 
it's been a huge success. We've had a couple of them that have gained full-time employment for it already. Um, a lot of working with the Junior Academy and the analysis side of things. So as an overall, it probably couldn't have gone any better. And our girls' team have been in action for the first time this, yeah. this year as well. How are they settling into life? Account? Yeah, they're, they're great. And it's, again, I talk about a breath of fresh air. They have been, they are bringing girls into the programme has lifted it tenfold across the board. Um, I've been trying for years to get the girls' team up and running this year. I was lucky enough to get it off the ground. And again, it's something that we want to keep building on. And the girls have come in and been brilliant. They had a win today, which is, which is great for them. And, Again, for them and girls football in general, as a club, we're trying to make that grow and grow and it's, it's going really, really well.